Hello, I'm Fred Schneider and you're tuned in to The Weekly Report, a look at news and insight related to programs and services provided by departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. The City's Land Bank has officially opened and features more than 3,600 properties for sale, including 743 foreclosures recently acquired from the Land Trust of Jackson County. The Land Bank aims to find responsible owners for abandoned or blighted properties in Kansas City, and listed properties are sold for less than market value. To view available properties, please visit kcmolandbank.com. City Manager Troy Schulte has appointed Jeffrey Williams to the position of Principal Assistant to the Director of City Planning and Development. In this role, Williams will oversee the city's planning functions. Williams has previously served as the planning commissioner in Yonkers and Mount Vernon, New York. Williams was chosen after a national search that yielded a diverse group of qualified candidates. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments for information and insight. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities. This summer, your city facilities are hosting many exciting performances and events. Are you up for a new experience? Check out the Kansas City Roller Warriors on July 13th at the historic Municipal Auditorium for Bout 4, Rink of Fire. The Knockouts take on the Black Eyed Susans and the Victory Vixens take on the Dreadnought Dorothys. For ticket prices and details on upcoming home games, visit kcrollerwarriors.com. Kansas City is hosting three large conventions throughout this month. 7,000 school nutrition professionals from across the country will gather for the School Nutrition Association's 67th Annual National Conference from July 14th to 17th. This is the first time Kansas City will host this annual national conference. The School Nutrition Association is the only organization dedicated to providing more than 31 million children with nutritious school meals every day. Silpata Designs will hold its 2013 national conference from July 24th to the 27th. Based in Lenexa, Kansas, Zapata Designs has more than 33,000 independent sales representatives throughout the world, offering handcrafted sterling silver jewelry to buyers participating in relaxed home party gatherings. The AAFP National Conference of Family Medicine Residents and Medical Students will be in Kansas City from August 1st to the 3rd at the Kansas City Convention Center. Leaders and educators in family medicine will conduct special lectures, workshops, procedure courses, and clinics. With all these visitors coming into Kansas City in the weeks ahead, make sure to make them feel welcome with a big Kansas City smile. To learn more about upcoming events at Kansas City facilities, please visit kcconvention.com or call 816-513-5000. The Kansas City Police, like any organization steeped in loyalty and tradition, has their rituals. This past week, one of the more sacred ceremonies was held when 12 members received their 25-year ring, collectively representing 300 years of service to the citizens of Kansas City. Recipients are rightfully proud. Um, this has been an incredible experience working for the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department for the last 25 years and recognizing us um, by giving us these rings is an incredible honor. It's been a great honor to serve on the police department, uh, uh, to have formed many great relationships, meet many outstanding people, and it's been an honor to serve. I just think it's really wonderful that the police department recognizes our years of service. Um, we really dedicate our life to the police department and after 25 years it just means a lot to be recognized for it. I think it's awesome that we work for an organization that takes uh, your work history and your dedication and commitment to the department this seriously and that we honor our, uh, our members and where we came from. I've really enjoyed the 25 years. It seems like it's a long time and coming, but once it gets here, it seems like it's come by really quick. 
Um, I've really enjoyed it. It's been an honor to serve the citizens both of uh, Kansas City and as I said in the, uh, in the ring ceremony, I enjoyed going to Joplin, helping other people. Typically, KCPD holds two to three ring ceremonies a year. This quarter century milestone is an opportunity for coworkers, friends, and family to acknowledge their accomplishments. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Loose Park. Uh, my name is Mark McHenry, Director of Parks here in Kansas City, and Loose Park is one of our 220 parks throughout Kansas City, Missouri, and we have a great occasion here today, and uh, Governor Nixon is with us. Uh, Governor Nixon, he uh, has been really focusing on our state park system. While other state park systems throughout the nation are cutting back on their programs, we're moving forward in Missouri and have a great park system, thanks to his efforts to make it a better park system and quality of life improvements. The governor's leadership is all about being outdoors, improving the quality of life, and enjoying the outdoors. Missouri is a great, beautiful state, as you're well aware, and we think Kansas City is a pretty beautiful park system here in Kansas City. So we welcome him here today, the great things he's doing. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Missouri Governor, Governor Jay Nixon. Good afternoon. It is great to be at this historic park in this great city of Kansas City to launch an initiative that has already received overwhelming response in every corner of the Show Me State. This Saturday, June 8th, is National Get Outdoors Day. Here in Missouri, getting out and enjoying the outdoors is just a part of who we are. In the digital age, these outdoor traditions are more important than ever for the sake of our heritage and our health. Think about it, you can spend hundreds of dollars on the latest Xbox, iPad, flat screen, or whatever sort of device you want. Or you can turn off the gadgets, get off the couch, walk out the front door, and have fun in the real world for free. Outdoor activities aren't just fun though, they're good for us. Even a small amount of physical activity on a regular basis can have a big impact on everyone's overall health and well-being. And when it comes to places to spend time in the great outdoors, Missouri has it all. From Mark Twain National Forest to Montauk, from Big Sugar Creek to Babbler, from Weston Bend to Wakanda, Missouri boasts some of the best parks and natural areas in the world. And crisscrossing them all are thousands of miles of outstanding trails. For hikers and cyclists, walkers and runners, young and old, Missouri's trails have something for everyone. Earlier, just about three weeks ago, Missouri's trails were recognized as the best in the nation. Number one. Yay! Yeah. Now that is a network that includes city parks, county parks, national forests, state parks, private land, all across the state coming together to make sure that people that want to get outside and recreate, to do whatever they can to get outside and stay healthy, they have the opportunity to do that. You know, you might expect that 2013 best trail state to go to someplace like Colorado or Vermont, wouldn't you? You know, but I think we've worked really, really hard in this state and organizations like the ones that are here today. But the place with the most innovative, most well-maintained and extensive trail system in the United States of America is the state of Missouri. Now to celebrate this recognition and to encourage Missourians to take advantage of our world-class trails and all they have to offer, the First Lady and I are inviting you to join us as we explore 100 miles of Missouri trails this year. Over the coming weeks and months, we will travel 100 Missouri miles on backcountry hiking trails and bike paths, on suburban greenways and city parks, through dense wilderness and prairie grass. Now, each of you, we're asking you to join with us. We're asking folks to sign up at mo.gov so you can track your progress and ours toward that 100-mile goal. As of a couple hours ago, we already had 1,924 Missourians that have signed up, and they have already, just in this week, completed 7,345 miles. Uh, I'll tell you, our parks director said once 10,000 Missourians in a million miles. Um, I just want to try to keep up with the First Lady. So, I, and so far, I have not successfully done it. I'm at a little over 12 miles, but she is uh, uh, out ahead of me already. So uh, I'll be sneaking out some mornings to try to try to catch Georgianne. Uh, and we look forward over this next uh, weeks and, and months of having uh, thousands and thousands of Missourians join us uh, in seeing from the ground up uh, the great state of Missouri and all of its richness each and every day through the opportunities we have. With that, uh, what we're gonna do, uh, I wanna thank everybody for being with us. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna start hiking.
Looking ahead, residents are invited to come out to KC Riverfest, the city's annual Independence Day celebration, on July 4th at Berkeley Riverfront Park. The festival will feature music, food, drinks, a kids' play area, and of course, a custom fireworks show. Admission is $5, and children 12 and younger are free. For more information, visit kcriverfest.com. In observance of the Independence Day holiday, city offices will be closed on Thursday, July 4th. In addition, residents who usually have Thursday and Friday trash collection will receive this service one day later. Residents who usually have trash collection on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday will not be affected. The following trash collection period of July 5th through July 10th is a no-tag period for trash collection in the city. During this time, residents may set out more than two bags of trash without tags. The Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also called PIAC, is a 13-person committee that collects resident input regarding public improvements and makes recommendations to the mayor and city council. PIAC invites residents to attend its upcoming neighborhood hearings scheduled throughout June and July. The next hearing will take place Thursday, July 11th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at Northland Cathedral. For a complete listing of PIAC hearings, please visit kcmo.org slash PIAC. For more information about this or any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.org, scroll to the bottom right-hand corner, and click on the Weekly Report for links. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Fred Schneider. Have a great week!